and the College Board provided stimulus. Frankly, in the roles of votes, an inaugural address in 1933 focused on addressing the challenges of the Great Depression and the need for bold and new innovative solutions. While he didn't specifically mention nuclear energy, his, his emphasis on harnessing the nation's resources to overcome adversity can be connected to the later development of nuclear energy as a significant technological advancement. Hello, my name is Felipe, and today I'll be talking about Felipe da Silva, and today I'll be talking about nuclear energy. My research question is, should the United States implement nuclear energy as a primary source in the 21st century? And my answer to that is, yes, the United States should implement nuclear energy as its primary source of energy in the 21st century, due to the reasons I'll be giving you. Now, the first reason is safety. Nuclear energy safe is the safest energy source there is, as we can see in this graph over here. When it comes to fatalities per trillion watts, nuclear energy has the lowest amount of fatalities when compared to all other energy sources. Also, according to the peer-reviewed academic journal, a roadmap for US nuclear energy innovation, it states, Nuclear power has had fewer deaths because of it than most energy sources combined. Also showing how safe nuclear energy is. Now, the second reason would be its reliability. When it, on this graph over here, we can see that when it comes to percentage of time they run a maximum power output, it's really obvious that nuclear energy is much better than all the other energy sources combined with 92.5% with of time that they run at maximum power output compared to all the others. And also, in, according to the peer-reviewed academic journal, why the U.S. must lead in civilian nuclear power estates, government investment into solar or wind energy has done nothing but prove how inefficient they are with little energy may produce with billions of taxpayer dollars being spent, which as we can see in this graph, when it comes to percentage of time they run a maximum power of output, even though those energy sources are renewable, they have much lower percentages when it comes to the time they run a maximum output compared to nuclear energy, which just makes nuclear energy a much better option. And the third reason will be that nuclear energy is a clean source of energy, as it produces little to none greenhouse gas emissions compare, compared to other non-renewable energy sources, which as we can see on this graph, all the non-renewable energy sources, except for nuclear power, have much higher greenhouse gas emissions, while nuclear power is down here, way below the other ones, just right next to wind power energy. And according to the peer-reviewed academic journal of pro-nuclear environmentalism, should we learn to stop worrying about nuclear energy? It states, nuclear energy should be viewed as the answer to our environmental problems, not as the problem, as nuclear energy is efficient, clean, and safe. It produces much less greenhouse gas emissions from all the other ones. Now, the limitations to, to that would be the public support. Ever since things like the Three Mile Island, the Chernobyl disaster, public support for nuclear energy has increased due to those accidents. Also, another limitation would be to convince politicians to start investing in nuclear energy instead of all the other energy sources. And the third limitation would be, as stated before in the last slide, that nuclear energy is a non-renewable energy source, as uranium is a finite resource, not an infinite one. So, in conclusion, nuclear energy is a safe, is a safe, reliable, and clean alternative to all the other energy sources, and yes, it should be used in the United States 
it should be implemented in the United States in the 21st century, as it is much better than all the other energy sources as discussed below. Even though accidents, despite the limitations, like the public support due to the Three Mile Island and things like Chernobyl, nuclear energy accidents have been really rare and as we discussed on the first the first slide of argument, nuclear energy is the safest energy source there is. It is also the most reliable and clean. And as a is the most reliable and clean it is nuclear energy has almost no greenhouse gas emissions and it is overall a reliable energy source compared to all the other ones and here's my work cited all right two questions for you how did your research question kind of evolve as you work through this whole process well first of all uh, i wanted to look at nuclear energy and then I found out how good in nuclear energy is when I researched and so instead of being critical of it I started being positive about it when I saw how good nuclear energy is. All right and if you had more time what additional research would you do? I'll probably be researching about how cheap nuclear energy is in a long time as it would really increase my the support for why nuclear energy should be implemented in the United States. 